All right, thank you, gentlemen. We are definitely in the home stretch. The final two questions, and we'll be starting with you, Alicia. On trade, again, what is the proper role of the federal government regarding trade policy? And again, specific proposals that you may have. I believe in free trade. We need to try to have free trade among the different nations, but we need to address the issue of Americans losing jobs. You know, we're losing manufacturing. It is so much cheaper to build things in other countries, and we need to address that issue. You know, we can have free, free trade, but what is the cost down the road? We, I believe that we need to offer incentives to American companies so that we can compete globally because we're losing too many jobs. We need to offer tax breaks. We need to remove business regulations, environmental regulations, so that they can manufacture in the U.S., so that they can produce these items, so they can employ Americans instead of going overseas. You know, because if we go, you know, to the very end of the spectrum and do everything completely free trade, you know, everything will be made overseas. We won't have any jobs. And I don't think that that's the path we need to get. We need to try to rein that in a little bit. And we need to do what's best for America and what's best for the people. We have to help the American companies compete because they are suffering, they're closing, we're losing jobs. And uh, reduce taxes on companies to address this issue. Remove environmental regulations in order for them to compete, in order to expand. Those, are, I believe, are the two biggest issues facing American companies in order to compete globally, taxes and uh, environmental regulations. Okay. I'm a slow learner. That's what I was going to say. Um, I'm the top House Republican on the Trade Subcommittee. was the point person for passing the Central American Free Trade Agreement, which, because it allowed us to sell our Texas products and services into that neighboring countries, we're on the way to creating 15,000 new jobs in our state, the ability to sell. Trade is, our role is to encourage trade at every turn. Um, it's a jobs issue because it's not enough to simply buy American. We have to sell American. We have to sell our products all throughout the world in every corner of the globe. But when we try to do that, we find other countries are shut off, shutting us off. These trade agreements have a simple principle. They say, if you're going to sell in the United States, into our market, we get a chance to sell into your market. We want two-way trade. And when we get it, America competes and we win in every case. The problem is this administration has blocked all of it. Uh, I've already, uh, every day, we focus on pushing this administration to give us a vote on the Panama, the Colombia, the South Korea free trade agreements because these are jobs. And the rest of the world is moving ahead of us, ahead of the line, giving their companies, their workers advantages over us that if we let ourselves, if we're benched, if President Obama and Democrats take us off the trade uh, competition, that competition continues and we'll lose jobs. I'll finish with this. There is a philosophy behind trade, and the philosophy is this. It's economic freedom. If you and I build a better mousetrap, we should be able to sell that mousetrap anywhere throughout the world without the government interfering. And guess what? If someone else builds a better mousetrap, we should be free to buy it for our families and our businesses. That economic freedom is the heart of trade. We ought to be promoting it. Like I started to say before, uh, the history is what's really important to look at the history. What the founders, you, you know, their guidebook for our trade policy and our economy, Adam Smith, The Wealth of Nations. It's still very applicable today. Free trade is absolutely essential to what we do. Limited appropriate regulation, keeping the tax policies low, keeping a good environment for businesses. One of the problems with uh, free trade agreements, what do we produce anymore? We're shipping all our production to other countries because of our bad, policy, uh, our bad policies. And then we say, please, what little we make, will you let us sell there? No, we need to encourage, we need to get manufacturers back here. We need to produce things in the United States. Uh, and the way to do that is through tax policies and through open trade, very minimal regulation. We have to keep it very minimal and make sure that it protects American companies. That's, a, that's simple.
America first. Our Constitution is for us. Our government is for us. It is to protect our laws and to make sure our people have jobs. But we're not going to create a bunch of jobs by dumping money into the system. What we're doing is devaluing our dollar. Inflationary tactics already, after 45 years, your money is worth 90% less. That means 10, 10 cents on a dollar after 45 years, just, just going at the 2 to 3% normal. At the point we're at now, within a few years, you could be at that rate, just in two or three years with inflationary. We have to get our monetary policy under control. And to do that, we have to get the government out of the way, have free trade, have free markets. Free trade is essential. Good night. Free trade is essential for getting our country back on track. One of the three deficits that uh, David Walker normally talks about when he travels around is, in fact, this trade deficit. What that means is we're exporting less than we're importing. Where do all of our imports come from? China, South Korea, from the EU. Why is that? We have made it more successful for companies to do business overseas, produce a product there and sell it back to America, paying the tariffs or whatnot coming back here, than to do it all here in the United States. We need to give incentives to corporations, both large and small, to do business here. We need to make sure that when people are looking at, uh, well, when our government is looking at free trade agreements, they're not writing a free trade agreement and then tacking on tens of thousands of pages of regulations and still calling it free trade. Free trade is not regulated. Free trade means it's open and you trade back and forth equally. So that being what it is, we do need to have things made here. But what is being sold here, we need to also be able to sell overseas. If we could sell that without a tariff going to their country, all the better for American companies. But if we don't address why these companies are doing most of their business overseas, then the trade deficit is irrelevant. We need to get those businesses and those jobs back here in our country, and the best way to do that is to attack our spending and to attack our tax rate. That alone will get the jobs back here and will help us fix that trade deficit that is just eating us alive right now. <laughs>